four children, and most people give me a strange look, and I really don't know what I was thinking. Apparently, I wasn't thinking very clearly, but I have four children, and um, had my first child on December 31st, 1994, and I named her Samantha Rose Reed. Um, that was back in the days when you only stayed in the hospital for 24 hours after having a baby. So if you can imagine having a child on New Year's Eve morning, there wasn't many people working at the hospital. Like everybody was doing other New Year's Eve type things. So instead of being told how to like breastfeed and bathe and all that, they gave me videos. So I watched a lot of videos <laughs> and um, went home with this baby. And when you have a child, now I know probably a lot of you have children, that love is very simple. You know, it's a very simple love and it's about the nurturing. And, and I was actually with this child this afternoon and this child's supposed to be here right now and is late. Um, <laughs> so when he walks in, we will pause and point him out for you. Um, anyway, but she was, I mean, she was, she was me. She was dark and my husband is blonde hair and blue eyes and I kept saying, huh, genetics, I'm gonna win. They're all gonna be little, I'm Jewish. They're all gonna be little Hasidic looking children because <laughs> I'm Jewish and I'm dark and they win, you know, dominant genes. And she came out and she was brown haired and brown eyed and, and olive skin and she was just this funny little girl. Um, when she was in, when she was about three, we went to a park and bought her a helium balloon. We were at this big uh, festival and she's walking along with a helium balloon and let's go and it's floating into the sky and she's running, get a ladder, get a ladder. <laughs> um, and then when she was in preschool, she had a boyfriend and she made him hold her hand at recess or whatever, you know, preschool. And then one day she wouldn't hold his hand anymore and I said, what happened? And, and she said, well, I want to be fancy free and have loose feet. <laughs> so I was like, you're brilliant. Um, <laughs> I love you. Anyway, so all sorts of fun things with her. Like when she first started, like she got sick one time and it was the first time she was really aware of the fact that she'd vomited. And she would been telling us that her tummy hangs. So after she vomited, she said, I spilled. So, um, so she was pretty typical. I keep looking. She was pretty typical, you know, um, had friends. She wasn't especially girly, like I made her this elaborate Barbie house for Christmas and she liked it for about 10 minutes and then went away. And I was like, oh, because I was really into Barbies. I was kind of a girly girl. Um, and then when she got into middle school, she had a friend that she was very close with. And there were times when I noticed that they were awfully, like awfully, awfully close. And then she told me that she was bisexual. And I was like, yeah, all right, you know. That's kind of trendy. I mean, that's a thing. With middle, no, seriously, no, no, no. I'm a teacher. I know these things. Middle school kids are looking for whatever is shocking and thrilling, and saying that you're bisexual is one of those things. So I was like, all right, well, fine. That's whatever. We'll see what happens with that. So then she then she started dating, and she had boyfriends, and she was she was beautiful. I mean, she was beautiful. Um, she got asked to four different proms in one year. She had a very serious boyfriend. And then she told me that she was lesbian. And I always fancy myself as, I've always said I'm very liberal and I, you know, I accept people as they are. And I said, okay, I'm not gonna be the hypocritical parent that does not accept. So, all right, that's great. And we went with that and that was fine. And then a year later, you know, a couple years later, she tells me I'm transgender. Um, my husband was really fine. He's really good with, with this. And I am too, but um, kind of in my heart of hearts, I had a daughter and now I don't. And I love my son. And his name is Samson. And we fought with the insurance. We won't pay for you know his bills. And he's been taking testosterone. And he comes up and says, Mom, Look at, this. Look at this. Because he's going to Planet Fitness now and he's, he's buff. And, he, and, and, he says, and he also says, look at, look at my Adam's apple. You feel this? You feel this? And he's got facial hair and he's got like a lot of armpit hair. And you know, um, so love starts out with children very simple. 
and you have certain expectations and you expect that certain things will happen and you have certain plans. And then things change and people have said to me, you're a hero and you're such a great parent and I can't believe you know, the, what you've done for your son. And I'm not. Um, I love my child and what I've done is what I'm supposed to do. And the times where most of the time I'm okay with it, but there are those times where I called, it was a couple years ago, I, well maybe last year, I called his phone and his, hadn't changed his voicemail since before he started taking testosterone and I suddenly heard my daughter saying, please leave me a message. And then sometimes that stupid Facebook with those throwback things and they threw up a picture of <laughs> Sam when she was in my brother's wedding and was a bridesmaid. And those are the moments where love really hurts, but it's still love and it's still my child. Thank you.